Well, most of us associate mosquitoes with the warmer months, but officials are warning people to be especially careful right now. That's because peak hurricane season is also when cases of mosquito borne illnesses go up. Ho oh, Jung Ru talked to an expert and a health department director to learn more. She's live now with details. Ho oh, Jung. Dave and Courtney, the West Nile virus garnered national attention when Dr. Anthony Fauci, the president's former chief medical advisor, contracted the disease about a week ago. Well, a few months back, there was one confirmed case here in Beaufort County, and now the health department is taking action to prevent further transmission. The West Nile virus is spread through mosquitoes that carry their disease from infected birds, according to NC State entomology professor Clyde Sorensen. Likelihood of contracting one of these diseases is really based on how many mosquito bites you get. Sorensen says not all mosquitoes carry the disease, however, as certain diseases are transmitted through certain types of mosquitoes. But for the West Nile virus, the house mosquitoes and the Asian tiger mosquitoes are the two most prone to transmit viral diseases. I, I strongly encourage folks to use uh, repellents. Um, something that contains DEET would be a, a, a good Janelle Octagon, the director of Beaufort County Health Department, says ever since a confirmed case this summer, the county has been taking preventative measures. We have sprayed throughout the county several times. Um, issues that pop up in regards to cases uh, that have been identified, we usually ensure that we just um, spray more diligently in certain areas um, that maybe someone had been exposed. Octagon added that cases rising around this time of the year is common. Kind of with hurricane season is where we also typically see peak mosquitoes. A lot of um, rainfall or sitting water is going to be a perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. Beaufort County Public Health Department will continue to spray weekdays and nights until the first frost. An Octagon also added that Beaufort County is running an educational campaign called Tip and Toss, which encourages community members to tip and toss standing water, such as dog bowls and under flower pots, to avoid creating mosquito breeding grounds. Reporting live from Washington, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. Dave and Courtney. All right, thanks, Ho Jung. And Professor Sorensen says people can also put mosquito dunks around gardens to kill mosquito larvae and tell your neighbors to do the same.